compromise between personal responsibility and all of these other uh, actors that we're talking about? I mean, who do you think is responsible for making these changes? As you mentioned, there is a preservation of fossil ecology in good water. The activities should become part of our daily life. Uh, since many years, I say it may be silly. I practice to say that. Whenever I leave my room for them, I always say social electricity. Then I never so take bath in tap, but for tap or tap only shower. So that I consider myself a small contribution. Save water. But there is some contradiction also uh, as far as the sh the shower is concerned. Uh, two, two times, one in morning, one in <laughs> after evening <laughs> before bed. So I don't know. You see, not using tap uh, in order to save water, but two showers. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some some relevant here. Say on my dream uh, Australia uh, say in coastal area you say the green the interior more desert. So now we on this planet we already have the technology. What say you, sir? Desalinate. Sea water uh, trans transform uh, sweet water. We already have that sort of technology. So now, use that technology maximum way, and the, uh, so the energy for that sort of industry, you see, use solar power. Australia, plenty of solar power in Central Similarly, Sahara, plenty of sort of solar power, sun power, that used for that kind, not ordinary sort of factory, but that kind of sort of city, factory which because of the I, I, I don't know into that word, I don't know. You see, uh, in any way, it's a seawater translated into sweet water. Then, I think in Australia, I express every decade, a uh, few hundred square miles inward, all sides of Australia. If you have that kind of plan, then eventually, this is step by step, whole Australia can be green land. And similarly, Sahara. Uh, that one might have green. Uh, occasionally, I express that. So then, I think climate, uh, global warming, I think some sort of effect. Although these are scale scheme, I think we should have green using these things. Then, implement step by step. As I mentioned there, the war mission outdated. Uh, now today's reality, destruction of your neighbor is destruction of yourself. And so therefore, you see the ancient time, you see the cause of war is destruction of your enemy is your victory. Now today's world is no longer that world, global economy, in everything interdependent. Therefore, the concept of war is outdated. We have to fight. We have to fight. You see, I think the Iraq crisis about start. Millions of people come 
opposed uh, as the violence of war. So I think we, I think, should make more effort. And then another sort of uh, another thing: uh, nuclear weapon. In in mid 20th century, the nuclear weapon is the forceful weapon to destroy your enemy. Now that later part of 20th century, that concept now gradually, you see, uh, changing. Uh, so you see more and more talks denuclearization and try to because of the reduce nuclear weapon, then eventually because of the eliminate nuclear weapon. Can I ask you a very direct uh, question? Um, 